Jones. Okay, David in the middle. Casey, what's the mentality when you're starting a drive from your own two, and what kind of confidence does it give this offense when you can grind out a 98-yard drive that effectively wins the ball game? Our goal is just every time, every time we get in the field on map, we back drop or on the two, on the plus two, is uh, try to get in the end zone, and that, that we just attacked it aggressively. We was gonna go after them, and we just kept moving the ball down the field. Both you guys, when you look back on this five-game homestand, how much, like, what areas more than any do you feel like you guys grew in, and how nice is it to leave with three straight wins from it? Um, I feel like we just grew, you know, grew up as a team. Um, we were a very young team, had a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores. You know, we didn't know, you know, we didn't really have an identity. But um, you know, coming after that bye week, Coach Mushroom, you know, he talked to us about establishing an identity, and um, it's a lot of perception and there's a lot of reality. Uh, a lot of people perceived us to be, you know, a, a team that oh, we just lucked up last week. Um, you know, we, we're going to luck up. We're not going to, you know, go out and dominate games, and we want to be a dominant team. So, um, you know, we just go out here every week to try to prove to everyone in the, you know, in the nation that, you know, we're a team, you know, that's not going to be messed with in the next couple of years. So, Bryce, to talk a little about you've had it, it seems like a starter knocked out of the secondary with targeting penalties mm -hmm. each of the last two weeks. How do you guys kind of come together as a secondary, and then how hard is it to kind of? That there's a fine line between being physical and then being called for a target penalty. Right. How do you kind of handle that? Um, well, I mean, we just got to grow up. You know, it's a next man up mentality. Uh, you know, I feel like our DBs do a great job of, you know, if, if, if it's your time to go, you know, you step up and play. Uh, Chris got knocked out the game, and Rashad came out and made an interception. So, you know, it's a next man up mentality. All our guys are ready to go. Uh, we get a lot of reps in practice, ones and twos. So, um, you know, it's just next man up every time. Targeting. Oh, yeah, and targeting, I mean, um, it's hard when you're trying to play so fast, but um, you know, you just got to do a better job at you know finding the strike zone, you know, trying to aim at the chest and you know below below down to the legs and you know play through the thighs. So, Let's go over here, right, John? Bryson, um, if Georgia beats Kentucky tonight, y'all are mathematically alive for the SEC East. One, can you pull for Georgia? And two, is that something that? Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> you can answer it if you need to. <laughs> no, good. no, but is it uh, is it something that is winning the SEC still a, a thought in y'all's minds? Oh, we say it every day. Uh, BDs win the state. Um, those are our goals. That's what we want to do. Uh, you know, it's okay to pull for Georgia tonight. Um, we, you know, it's a lot of stuff that got to happen, but we can only control. What we can control. Uh, we take it one week at a time, and you know, it's one week seasons now at this time of the year. Um, you know, you take you play every game like it's the last game of the season. You win that game, and you move on. Um, and like I said. You know, if everything falls in our favor and, you know, we make it to Atlanta, that's going to be a blessing and we're going to go out and be ready to play. Bryson, did you feel like their their tempo kind of had you uh, you guys sort of uh, out of position on some of those plays that they broke or was it was it something else? Um, I mean, yeah, the tempo, the tempo kind of got us at first. But, uh, you know, when we went in at halftime, you know, Coach T-Rob, Coach Hustler, you know, they all told us, you know, calm down, settle down. It's just football. Um, you know, make sure that you're looking at the stuff that we practiced through all week. And, you know, once we decided that, you know, as a defense, we're going to go out and we're going to take advantage of this game, we're going to take this game and put it in our hands, um, I feel like we start doing a better job in limiting the big plays in the run game. Casey, um, you got the touchdown catch later in the game, but on the call to where they said the play was out of bounds, it looked like on the replays from crowd reaction and all that, that you'd gotten a foot down? Did you feel like that was the right call? Or what's the feeling on plays like that to where it's just so close? I mean, personally, I felt like I had my foot down, but it's, it's all left up to the referees. I mean, we went back out and still scored, so that's all that mattered to me. Bryson, Bryson what do you think this Florida game means to Coach Muschamp? Um, it means a lot. Um, you know, it's another game for him. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure he's not going to you know, let us know about too much of his emotion. But um, you know, it's big for us. We want to win the East. Um, and to win the East, you got to go through Florida. That's our last SEC East game, and um, we win that game. And you know everything's going to be, in, you know, in our hands. So um, only thing we can do is go out and win and control the controllable. So, uh, for both you guys, coach has talked about how hard this team's worked through the whole season. Just the wins weren't coming at first. Now that they are, has anything changed from your guys' perspective, or, or what's been the difference in these results? It got harder. Um, you know, practice is harder. He wants us to be more physical. Uh, he's more demanding now, uh, and that's a good thing about having a coach like Coach Mutchamp. He's gonna humble you before you know before you have to get humbled by losing the game. Um, and you know that's a big thing, and it takes a, you know takes leadership. Uh, 
you know, we have a lot of good guys, you know, you know, older guys, you know, I'm a junior, KC, you know, a junior in the classroom, and, you know, we just try to talk to our young guys, let them know that, you know, we can't, we haven't done anything yet. Um, we still five and four, and we still have three more games to play, so we got to go out and control what we can control. We win games, and, you know, everything is going to be fun after the season, so. Bryce, you guys haven't allowed an opponent to score over 30 points in a game this year. Do you guys talk about that at all? And did you ever expect that going into this year after what happened the past year? Um, we don't talk. We we don't talk about you know not allowing people to score 30. Uh, we try to get people under 16. And you know, uh, if we go out and play our game every week and you know do what we do, we can keep people under 16 points. Um, you know, we gave up a little bit too much in the run game today, and I know we got to go back and uh, correct that. You know, this week because Florida is a you know very strong team and they do like to run the ball so. Casey, you all had a bunch of NFL guys back today. What does it mean to have those guys around the program? And did any of them address you guys before or after the game? Uh, well, I mean, I, I've, I've had a relationship with some of those guys that were at the game. And I mean, they just tell us to keep pushing. I mean, they graduated from here. So they're, they're, they're on our back. And they're telling us to keep pushing and keep getting better every week. And they're going to keep supporting us. Anything else for these guys? Hot. 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 Hot.